All right, spitballers. Welcome to episode 7.2, the bonus episode. Okay, I did want to make a, uh, an episode 8. I've already made four episodes on Monday. We're going to do a 4.2. This is going to make a bonus episode, a nice dinner. It may or may not be 25 uh, minutes. It might be an hour. You can see the timer. And remember, this is not about me. Like, I need to remember that. I don't really need to tell you about my day, guys. But that's going to slip in. And I'll do it earlier rather than later. Uh, I'm trying to think what happened. I mean, if you've watched... Ah, I did not make a mistake, did I? Yeah, I did. Sorry, guys. I'm looking at something else. Uh, but what happened was... Uh, if you were watch, if you if you listened to maybe episode three, perhaps I told you I had to sell pens, right? And I was kind of half talking yesterday. By the way, I recorded episode four. Uh, as you know, if you're following this series, you'll know this already. Like, and uh, I, if for some reason, I didn't record because of this um, Microsoft OneDrive thing, which I then like put the code bash on. And then, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can't relive yesterday's episode, but I do remember mentioning the pens thing. Like I did say to you, it's like an episode three. I'm going to be selling pens at some point. And uh, I sold two pens. Now, I kind of have two problems. Number one, the first pen wants... <laughs> they want me to sell 100 pens. And I do mean pens. I'm like, okay, cool. No worries. The second pen, I actually broke that pen by accident. It's mending. That's going to take time. So that's an update on that. And further to that, like I have my own pens to sell. I'm like, okay, okay, you know what I mean? So I'm getting on that this week, guys. I may or may not keep you posted on it. But if you were listening and you wondered how that went and you want some continuity with this Papa G podcast series and you followed from the start, well, just let me give you that update. By the way, I'm also thinking, like this Papa G podcast, like I'm kind of enjoying it now. However, I'm saying like, you know, like I'll stop at episode 30. I'll do the 30 episodes first anyway. Uh, I may or may not do a weekly, like episode 31, episode 32, 3, 4, 5, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, because at the end of the day, I do kind of enjoy the not only i mean like no deal not only is this faceless but like you're listening you're not really watching right and there's this whole dynamic with it and it's nothing too magical or too mystical or whatever i mean i'm just saying there's a different dynamic and it, i can feel it now it feels different now that I'm on episode 7.2 of my Papa G podcast, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. I hope you've got your coffee on or something, man. Right? Uh, but it feels different, and I can feel it now. This feels much different than when I'm doing, like, audio-visual, you know, like the actual YouTube videos. So I don't know. Uh, I'm going to, I think I, it's good for me just personally, because this is just a like a project for me. It's fun, this YouTube channel. I build it to get skill sets, and I feel like now, oh yeah, this this podcast thing, you know, I feel like I'm in an armchair, it kind of feels a bit more snug now, you know, it's less wooden, or whatever, or maybe, I don't know, I mean, I've enjoyed every minute of it, but I'm just like, oh yeah, so anyway, there may or may not be a weekly continuation, I don't know yet, it sounds pretty pretty good for me, but did I even do it weekly, I mean, I was supposed to do 30 if this was supposed to be a 30-day podcast, 30 days, 30 podcasts, okay, cool. So I'm on, like day th I'm on day 32, and we're on episode 7.2. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I've got some good stories, folks. One happened maybe 10 days ago. Oh, but if you want some continuation, yeah, I'll tell that story in in the in the in the next episode in episode eight, which I'll do in like two days' time. Okay, but if you have been listening, you'll remember I told a story 
Uh, and this was during that. Th th this was, there's an episode, maybe episode two is like one hour. I was talking to a fella from West Virginia, Germany, and Sweden. Okay, when I was standing in that room, that's the room we were standing in. And it was like a small room, but you can hold like 40 people. It's not as small as you might think, but it's not much bigger neither. But when I was there four days later, I saw a really cool thing happen. And I mean, there was lots of people involved. There was like 12 people in this one. And psychology really is an odd thing. So I'm going to leave that for like episode 8, 9, or 10 or something. Because uh, it's the same room. So I'll tell that one later. So let me pop up. And I hope you can put your feet up here as well, folks. Let me see. Uh, my mind's going blank now. I need to give you a story. Remember, it's about the storytelling. Uh, are these even good stories? Do I even tell these stories well? Do not be afraid to criticize. Okay, I'm going to go for the 24 words again. Nah. Nah, 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 let me just do 12 words. 12, like that was like weird yesterday. Or yesterday. <laughs> Literally, the, the last episode was like, I mean, I, I've, I've already popped, I've almost, I've recorded it. It's, it's like, you know, it's on file. If, I did it like 10 minutes ago. I don't know why I called that yesterday. <laughs> Other than the fact that this is, <laughs> this is supposed to be a daily podcast, 30 days, 30 episodes. I, like I messed it up. I'm still, I'm still acting like I can secure a victory here. Folks, I have failed this competition. Okay, you're allowed to stop listening. I'm, but I'm just going to power through, and I hope you have fun with it, uh, wherever you are on this earth. Vietnam, China, England, Ireland. I mean, I don't know, Saudi Arabia. I know there's a Sri Lanka in India there somewhere. Australia, maybe. Like, I do forget sometimes, folks. I, I really do. There's a France in there. There's Russians in there. Ukrainians. So wherever you are on the earth. Anyway, 12 words. 3, 2, 1. As always, listen to my pronunciation. We have 3, 2, 1. Hospitality. Minister. Automatic favor guest commerce dog subway acquaintance remark corner club You know, it's, it's happening to me again, folks. I can't help but think that I have a story about somebody who had an acquaintance that made a remark at the subway with some guy who either worked a corner or worked a club. And that's from America. Like, I mean, oh, I do have one. God damn it, guys. I knew it. Oh, my God. This is a good one. Jesus, folks. Put the coffee on. This is a weird one, actually. This is one from America. Okay, there's no subway, but we are in America. Like, this was a good one, folks. I'm going to... Let me get a glass of water. Go get your cup of coffee. Okay, put this on pause. I'll wait five seconds in the record. I'm going to edit this. You get the idea. Three, two, one. And so it is, folks. I hope you've got that coffee. <sighs> this story comes from... It's hard to call. 2006. No, let me think about it. Oh, yeah, it probably does come from 2006. Or maybe that's when I heard of it. By 2006, I had heard of it. So this probably happened 2004. It's the year 2024 20, right now. Uh, like 10th, or it's the 9th of October. Excuse me. But yeah, this story, it's 20 years old. And it was a very odd thing. It's just an odd story, folks.
I, I mean, I, I need to tell you the story, but I'm trying to think uh, how much detail do I want to give you? I need to think about this. What what words do we have? I mean, we had Subway, Acquaintance, Remark, Corner Club. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. This is, like, too good. Uh, we're in. We're actually out in the countryside again, I'm afraid. Okay, we're not in the... I mean, it's a city. It's a city. It's a city. Why did I say countryside? Because it's in West Virginia, folks. It's so countryside out there, even the cities. And what had happened was... I did not see this, but somebody told me about it. And, like, there's three people, and they were there, and they had told me, and they were, like, laughing so hard. I mean, there was so much excitement about this because I was going to meet this guy, like, tonight, right? We're all going out and stuff, and the girls, they're telling me about this guy. And his name, folks, God damn it. Like, seriously, when somebody's reputation precedes them, it really is amazing, especially when it's a good person. Like, there are good, you know, there's good and bad in this world. Good people can do bad things. And bad people can do good things too, folks. I'm now almost wondering, have I already told you this story? Because at the end of the day, I've I've had this story in my head for a long time. I don't know if ever I don't I do not know if I've ever told it to anyone. But maybe I did tell it to you before, I don't know. But let me tell it here, folks. There's this guy. And I hope he's still alive. I mean that. I, I hope he's still alive. This guy is one of the good guys, folks. I do meet crappy people. I even met a crappy guy four days ago, folks. It does not end. It does not end. But do you see those good guys? I mean, they're in, they're in, I don't know what to say to you. There's, there's not many. You want more of them. Goodness me, folks. You want more of those guys. And um, one of those guys is this guy called Kareem. So, so I was like, oh, Kareem? And the girls were like, but they were saying to me, look, this guy's so cool and stuff. Like, you're going to love him. You know, he's a good guy. Um, like, he's cool. And I was like, what do you mean cool? And they're like, oh, no. And like, and they were like, no, 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 no. Get that out of your head. We know what you're thinking. But I'm telling you now, they were all, these girls were telling me, I mean, they're like, they were older than me by like three years. I'm like 24 at this point. Or maybe, I don't know what city. I was like, oh, well, what did I say to you like 20 years ago? Okay, okay, this was like 22 or something. Jesus, no. No, the story, I would have been 24 when I heard the story. And the girls are 27. And they're like, get this idea out of your head. Like, this guy is cooler than you. And I was like, why would you say it like that? And they're like, you don't understand. It's Kareem. And I was like, Kareem. And like, no, Kareem. I was like, wait, what? They're like, Kareem, the dream. And I was like, okay. I was like, why is this guy cool? Or whatever, something like that. And so the girls then told me this story that they saw. And this changed a lot of things for a lot of people in general, as you're about to see. And... What had happened was, I just need to re just reassort my thoughts here because I want to tell it well, folks. I don't want to tell the story badly because it's a good story. But the Kareem, you know, out in the West Virginia in this city, folks, like, I mean, they're kids these days now, right? Everyone's like, I mean, even by 26, you like, you can still be clubbing in a West Virginia on a Friday, Saturday night. It's a bit kitsch. No one wants to do it, but there's nothing else to do. It's quite a town, you know what I mean? For a city, it feels like a town. Not the West Virginia, but the city that I'm in, it feels like a town. But it's also a city bigger than towns in Ireland, north and south of the border, folks. Like, I love the West Virginia so much. I really do. It's really something else. Like, I love the China, I love the Vietnam, I love what it taught me, the Edinburgh. There's also the West Virginia. 
if you really do ever have the chance, please get the chance to get to West Virginia, folks. You'll be surprised what you'll see there and the people you meet and the style of them, like they are something else. So anyway, Kareem, or it's Friday night, anyway, it's Friday night, and what had happened was Kareem, like, it's Friday night, everyone's at the club, there's cars outside, everyone's dressed cool, and everyone knows how to street dance in a roundabout way. It's one of those clubs, actually. And I loved, seriously, I, I was meeting, we were all going to meet Kareem that night at that same club, folks. Like, I did get to meet him that night. And, folks, like I said to you, so, but I haven't, like, I haven't been to this club yet and haven't, have not even met the Kareem yet. Or maybe I had been to the club before, like, because it's, it's like a local nightclub. But tonight we're meeting Kareem and it's a Friday, right? And the girls are telling me the Kareem, it's Friday night. And this was like six months ago or something, folks. It's Friday night. Everybody's at the club. Everything's popping. Nothing's going wrong. Inside, you get the idea. It's dark. There's strobe lights, some white lights. The music that they love to play there was very American. I do remember thinking this does not feel Irish or UK disco. Um... Because remember, I was like 22, 23, or 24, right? So I was still like young and everything. And, but outside, there's more people you see, okay? So you got everyone out there, they're all looking good. And for this area, you have people of different skin colors, okay? You've got, you know, black, white, Hispanic, Asian. Okay, now that's, you know, Will Smith could put it better in that song, was it? Welcome to Miami, something like that. But everyone's here. You got the cars, the chains, hats, cool t-shirts, cool shirts. It's all good. And what happened was this guy, Kareem, he is walking in his cool shirt with his cool trousers and his cool attitude. Okay. Now Kareem does this thing uh, whereby like he'll say hello to people. And uh, funny enough, it's something I do. And funny enough, Kareem's not the first guy I met who does that. Like, it's a good thing to say hello to people, like, how are you doing? And the first person to really do that, they'll really meet, that was pointed out to me, funny enough, was from back home. It's a hospitality thing, folks. So now, Kareem's saying hello to everybody. Everyone's saying hello to Kareem. High fives, there's laughter. And it's all good. And Kareem's like walking around talking to everybody, you know? Because Kareem's just kind of new to the area as well. Uh, Kareem had just arrived like six months before this, something like that. And so anyway, you know, the beers are rolling. Kareem's like standing there chatting. And what happened was like this guy who, in all fairness, was a big black guy. Shouts, you Kareem, why you fuck you out? Sorry, good hand goes, why the fuck are you acting like you fucking African? And he said it so loud that everybody could hear it. Everybody stopped talking, everybody looks at Kareem. Now, there's an odd thing about Kareem, folks. Kareem, he is white. And he's skinny. And he's wearing like this, um, I don't know what to say to you, like a basketball top or whatever that's like hanging off of him. He's got this black hair that goes down past his um, shoulders. He's wearing a baseball cap and he's got a chain on. He's wearing cool sneakers. And he walks like he's jiving. So Kareem shouts, not shouts, he says it loud enough so everybody can hear. What are you talking about? And the other one goes, Well, look at you. Walking around like you're black, dressed like you're black, you're fucking white. Why are you acting and walking and talking like you're fucking African? And Kareem goes, loud enough for everybody to hear, Dude, I know I'm white. I come from Algeria. I am African. 
You were born in America. What the fuck are you doing? And just like that, folks. Nobody ever messed with Kareem ever again on him being white. <laughs> and African, my goodness. And when I met this guy later on, like his positivity was so good. It really was beautiful. So that's the Kareem. Kareem, the African dream, by the way. Uh, it's only a 20 minute episode, folks. I'm just going to leave you on that one. I was going to put you, I was going to give you one hour, but I think with that one, I'm going to leave you. Have a fun day, folks. Enjoy the rest of your week, the rest of your life. If I never hear from you again, of course, you know, always come back. Listen to more if you want. Put that coffee on. Put your feet up. It's nice and easy. And on your safe journey home, folks, regardless of how you walk, walk well, and may your God, your gods go with you. Well done.